through the magic of VI and Pearl, I shall now perform a magic trick. You see how it says at apostolic right now? All right, presto changeo, close my file, reopen. Apostolic is now linked to a Twitch stream. Yeah, you want that, don't you? I know you do. Here's how you do it. <laughs> Anybody who is bagging on Pearl Regular Expressions can bite me right now because I'm going to show you why Pearl Regular Expressions are awesome and why Pearl One-Liners rule the day. So this, I know it's it's a heavy-duty thing, but it happens at the end, so it's okay. So what these two Vim Preleaves do, and this is pretty lazy, is they the, the percentage sign here says send the whole file i know i know i know it's overkill right but uh uh it's <laughs> much <awesome>. mm -hmm. <laughs> um and so here you go watch this i'm going to send this line to e to eeks and now you have that line you can put that line in yours this line here in case you want it by the way this line right here substitutes any empty pandoc line with a link to duckduckgo so you don't have to stress about getting the proper link to the right thing. You just leave it, come back later and change it. <laughs> I know, I feel so... I, I have people, everybody opening issues on my, my knowledge base saying, you got all these broken links. I was like, yeah, but I'm going to make it eventually. And then I just never did. So I said, fine, I'm going to automatically make any empty link go to DuckDuckGo automatically. <laughs> it actually turns out to be really useful. So, um, again, this is... Uh, uh, you know, that's the kind of regular expression that makes said cry like a little baby. <laughs> this is why Pearl is king of regex. Would do empty link anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, I do empty links because what ends up happening is it's like when I'm writing, you know, like hypertext, I have something that I really want people to be able to read more about. I mean, the whole idea of hypertext is that, you know, the complex terms, you know, something like, what's that? You know, rather than provide an explanation right there, I link to the explanation or something. Uh, but sometimes like, for example, you know, I don't know, like Brave Scandal, right? Uh, I could, rather than linking to the Brave Scandal, I can like put an empty link around, you know, current Brave Brave Scandal. This is VimRC. Would you want it? You want my VimRC too? Here you go. I mean, these are all online, but you're welcome to take it do what you want yep so once again that is shell integration that is why you don't need 30 plugins in your vim and it's why neo vim is a disastrous fail of a project based on its very premise from the beginning i'm gonna stick to that i don't want to fight about it right now i had a great fight last time though with it uh why would I have done it with VimScript? I could have done it with VimScript, but I don't need to. That's the whole point. <laughs> the whole point is that I am integrating the shell. I'm doing one thing well. That's the Unix philosophy. VI is an editor. Vim is an editor. If you try to make it into more than that, you're breaking the fundamental Unix philosophy without necessary need to do that. And um, so, for example, uh, you know, you could, there are so many examples of this. Probably the best thing to read is, is to go read about uh, VI Magic. If you go read about that on rwx.gg. Uh, and you can read about, you know, integration with the shell using the exclamation point or the, what I call the magic wand that allows you to fully integrate your shell. And when you fully integrate your shell, then you're not writing plugins anymore. You're not, you're not reaching for solutions or designing crap that allows you to use Node.js to write plugins. You're using your shell and you're using filters from the shell and you're modifying things and you're adapting them as they go. You're using full filters, you're using everything that Linux brings to the table or Unix brings to the table that is so powerful, the very idea of a pipeline. And that continues to go forward. I use key vitamin. Yeah, I, I do too. I mean, it's to be more. And you can go watch stupid, you can go to RWX. Uh, you can go to rdbx.gg uh, slash uh, stupid or slash don't, I don't remember what it's called, uh, slash Pearl, and I'll give you a big, long uh, article about why Pearl uh, 
saying Perl is dead or is a read-only language is stupid because it just means you don't know what Perl. The ability for Perl to even fill in the gap between C and Shell as a backend language for web development is proof and testament to its amazingness. Was it meant to be a systems language that had thousands of lines of like enterprise code like Python is being used for today? Hell no. It was never meant to do that. It, it's a testament to its amazingness that it was ever even to fill that gap. And so when people, uh, uh, yeah, I really don't assume. people, people who slam Perl, they just, they don't know it. So just don't slam it until you know what it is. And what Perl's primary purpose, Larry Wall's purpose was when he made Perl was to replace said and awk and TR and cut and all of these things that are like all different. They have different kinds of regular expressions all over the place. His goal in writing Perl was to write a command line tool that would replace those things and, and synchronize them. And to this day, it still dominates at that thing. People who use awk and said and don't know about Perl, I feel sorry for them because they just don't know better and they do it. Perl is on every system that's been built in the last 25 years and it's right there for you to use from the command line. Do you need to write a full script on it? Hell no. Are you a pen tester and you break into a system and you want a powerful thing over there without having to ship over a payload? It's there. You would be writing your stuff in there. It's got a full HTTP library in it. Actually, it doesn't. You got to get that from CPAN, I think, which is good. The only downside is, is it's a little bit slower to boot because it's a little bit bigger than awk. That's it. And that's not an issue today. So, so yeah, and, but, you know, who doesn't want to learn the industry standard regular expressions? Most people don't think they have any relevance today, but they do. That's an, another rant. I'm, maybe I'll cut this thing up and